those of you who don't know me, I'm Gypsy. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Gypsy Shop Builds. Today, I'm really excited to show you guys how to build this custom floating desk with shelves that looks like this. All right, so I'm telling you guys, you're gonna love making this DIY project. So this office space is practical and definitely a head turner. Your family, clients, entourage are gonna love this office space you're about to create. In this episode, I'm gonna give you quick time lapses, short clips, tips and tricks to get it done fast and right. Hey guys, so before we get into this build, just to let you know, I put a link down below in the description of all the tools that I used in this video. So if you guys are ready, let's start with a quick time lapse. There, you just saw me rip that sheet for the length of the shelves at 65 and a half inch. So let's keep this going. So there, you just saw me rip three pieces at 14 and three quarters, leaving the front part of the shelf at three inches, three quarters. So let's keep it going. So there you just saw me uh, basically cutting the 45 degree angles on a few pieces. So you'll need six in total and you need to cut it on a 45 degree angle like this. For the front part of the piece, it's important to cut it on a 45 degree angle on both sides like this. So that when you have both your side pieces, you put your front piece right on top like this. All right. Hey, by the way, if you guys enjoying this, smash it and let me know in the comments. So now that we're done making the cuts, we're going to work on our support, which will be made of two by threes. Quick tip guys, for the thickness of the shelves, I recommend two inches, two inches and a half, but a minimum of one inch to make sure that it's well mounted on the wall and that it's well supported. Okay, so each one of my shelves is 65 and a half inch long by 14 and three quarters wide. So let me show you guys how to cut the frame and then we'll assemble it together. So we just finished cutting everything. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble everything so that it's nice and strong. So in this last clip, you saw me take my measurements to know exactly where those cross pieces of woods are gonna go. Then I made sure I had my wood glue in hand, put some wood glue on the ends, make sure that once it's squeezed up, ready to be drilled, it's gonna be nice and tight. So then you wanna pre-drill. Once that's done, use a quarter inch bit. I recommend it here, it's a drill bit. Screw it in, makes it easier for the screws to get in. Once that's done, guys, use an impact gun, get that screw in, and you got yourself a solid frame. All right, guys, so we're done assembling this two by three framing. Look at this, this is solid. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put this on the wall. So now that we're at the wall, first step is to get your stud finder, put it on the wall. So you take your stud finder, put it on the wall like this, press on one of the buttons until it's calibrating. When you hear that, you can move. Oh, look at 
that, we just located one stud right on center. Now that you located one of the studs, you want to mark all the other studs, usually every 16 inches or so. And then guys, what you want to do is bring your frame over to the wall, make sure it's nice and level. You could use a regular level like this. So you put it right in there, make sure the bubble in the middle is right in the middle. My personal preference is a laser level like this. Check it out guys. As you can see, this is a green light level. You can see it perfectly. Work with your two hands and then you screw your frame to the wall. Best way to make it happen, guys. Quick note on this laser level, it's actually $55 on Amazon, very inexpensive. USB-C rechargeable, great quality, guys. If you guys are interested, the link is gonna be in the description below. So now that we're done with this framing on the wall, it's time to assemble these shelves, guys. Let's get it going. Let's get ready to assemble all this. So let's go over here. Quickly, you need um, one piece of the top, the shelf, the bottom piece, You'll need two little pieces, spare pieces of the frame that you just cut. You put this uh, around in the middle. <clears throat> so since this is basically a shelf that doesn't have any sides, physical sides, because it's gonna be inserted into the wall where there's gonna be two walls at the end, you wanna make sure that you temporarily put two nails there so that it holds the shelf together. And then once that's done, you'll be able to stain, do all your finishing as well. So let me show you guys, let's get this started. Just finished nailing everything in using my M18 Milwaukee Brad Nailer. This tool is awesome, guys. Check out the description below, get more details on that. All right, so with that said, let's move on to the next step. Just finished putting in some wood paste so now let's move on to sanding so for sanding guys make sure you have a good mask and goggles safety guys very important for sanding guys I'm gonna be using 150 so here we go guys so we're done sanding so the next step will be to put one coat of primer let that dry sand it down lightly at 220 then you put one coat of paint you let that dry too and then you finish it off with a matte finish it's gonna look awesome so stick around let's go three shelves is done it's time for me to show you how to make that floating desk guys let's do it want to grab your circular saw get a new 4x8 sheet cut it at 65 and a half inch then you grab that sheet remaining at 65 and a half inch and you cut two pieces at 21 inches and that remaining piece you'll want to cut at four inches guys remember we'll need to cut those pieces on a 45 degree angle so the 21 inch pieces you'll want to cut in a 45 degree angle like this and the remaining front piece at four inches, you wanna cut it on both sides, like this. And once everything is cut, guys, you're gonna to wanna to nail it up. Make sure you glue it first, nail it up with a brand nailer, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to get that burn design. Just finish torching the soft portion of the wood guys look at that effect I mean this is awesome 
So next, I'm gonna show you how to stain. paint are finished guys by the way what I used for the stain is 75% whitewash 25% water and also 50% aged oak and 50% whitewash and look at those results that's amazing I hope you guys enjoyed part one of this video because I'll be making a part two where I'll be installing everything from A to Z. I'll show you guys how to get that complete look. So until then, if you guys enjoyed this DIY project, let me know in the comments. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to get the latest video uploads, guys, right on your feed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.